Hey guys, what's up here? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. If this is the first time here, you are definitely welcome. Please do want to hit the subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoy watching it, okay? Guys, I have a problem with everything that is going on on social media right now. And I'm just going to focus on Cynthia Morgan. Okay, Cynthia Morgan has been trending for the past hours. I mean, it's crazy. And one would begin to ask, what is going on? Like, where has Cynthia Morgan been all this while and suddenly she's coming back to trend and all that? But guess what? She's not even coming back to trend for good. That's the painful part. The thing is, this girl has been through a lot. For the past four or five years, I've not really heard anything about Cynthia Morgan. I, for one, thought that her music career was over. I felt like she left music to do other things, but guys, that's not the case. This girl has been dealing with a lot. Oh, well, that's what she said to us. She had an interview with an ex-model on IG. You guys know how much IG live reigns throughout the lockdown. A lot of people were going live and just having chats and all that stuff, right? But this particular Instagram live happened last night, and guys... Cynthia had a lot to spill. First of all, I don't even know if I still have a right to call her Cynthia Morgan because her name has been taken away from her. That's the part that is giving me a headache. Okay, let me just calm down and explain what's going on here. During the IG live, Cynthia mentioned that she had issues with Jude Okoye, who happened to be her record label manager at the time. And from what she said, we could tell that she lost everything. You know, she had issues with the guy. There was a very serious fallout. The guy took her Vivo account and just every other source where she can make money from her royalty account. He took everything from her. And the only reason she did not sue him was because she was trying to awaken a new side to herself. Like, like she didn't want to use the whole death she had on him. That she was trying to be a better person and all that. Now, the problem is... She's been dealing with so much depression because when they had that issue, Jude told her that she must not use that her stage name, Cynthia Morgan. But the problem is, Cynthia Morgan is her name. How can you say better? Or, okay, I'm signing you today and your stage name is better. Now, me and you have a fallout. You now say better. Please do not use this stage name again. It's like you ripping me off of my bet right. You're asking me to stop using my name and guess what there's nothing she can do about it because that name was her stage name when she was under his record label and he has a right to either let her use it or not you guys remember the case of kiss daniel when he left his former record label they told him never to use kiss daniel again which was why he changed his name from kiss daniel to kiss daniel you know it was k-i-s-s -S, but now it is k-i-z-z -Z. you know guys it's just it's just crazy but i can't really judge and say oh you did this or Jude did that because again we've not heard from Jude but then there's just been a lot of you know higgy haga up and down even the manager of the record label one lady came out to say oh people cannot be believing everything Cynthia said just because she came on live to say trash about Jude and the record label doesn't mean that everything she said is true and that we have to know that Cynthia Morgan is currently owing Jude the sum of 40 million naira I don't understand how much has she made throughout her music career she's owing Jude 40 million naira and she's also owing the manager herself $30,000. Egba me, please. How is she going to pay this money? From everything that we saw with Cynthia, Cynthia has been depressed. She has been sick for well over six months. She said Jude abandoned her. They did not give her anything. She had a lot of family crisis. There were just so many things she was dealing with that actually made her land herself into serious depression. Guys, this thing is so bad that even when you see her current picture, you would almost shed tears because she looks like a shadow of herself. It's terrible. People fall down, but man, when they fall this hard, I don't know. As much as I feel bad for her, I feel like there are two sides to the story. And there's really no smoke without fire. So at the end of the day, we'll still find out the truth. But I'm just saying that regardless of whatever it is that happened, her current situation is bad. And guys, there's been a GoFundMe account that was opened for her. You know, people are asking, oh, if we get you a house in Lagos and in car, would you come back and all that? And she was like, yes, that she will come back. So they opened the GoFundMe to kind of raise some money for her and all of that stuff. Now, a lot of people are saying things. Record label owners and managers are coming out to say, look, record labels are not charity organizations. These artists actually agree to sign the contracts. Now, when things go south, people start abusing the record label, forgetting that the artist 
artists themselves actually signed and they actually have a point there but i also know that a lot of record labels cheat their artists and that's so unfair most times these record labels give their artists contracts that when you read it you'll be afraid but these people sign it because they're desperate because they have nowhere else to go and they just feel like they can give it a shot and all that stuff but to be honest when you look at it these agreements are always choking in most cases i'm not saying in all cases okay i have a lot of artists that i have worked with and i know what i am saying okay it's not like i'm just coming here to blab you guys know that when i'm not on youtube i'm doing public relations so that gives me room to meet with these artists and you know have conversations they go through a lot a lot and it's just really crazy but that's not even the whole twist to this whole story the twist is now between cynthia morgan and davido now let me take it back a bit yeah when cynthia morgan's whole music career was bubbly and all that the time when she was dating Bonaboy boy and everything was good everything was fine she was always blasting davido she was always saying davido is trash you know he's a fuck boy he's this he's that you know she was always just calling davido names i really do not know what was going on between them at that time but i'm saying that she was always fond of calling Calling Davido names. Now that powers have changed hand, it is the same Davido that she was insulting few years back that is tweeting and saying, Cynthia Morgan, call me. Cynthia Morgan, let's work together. I'm willing to sign you. I'm willing to do this for you. Like, this is just a pure case of never bite any finger because you don't know the particular one that will feed you in the future. Now, it is this same finger that she was biting, insulting, that is calling her and saying, come, let me help you. Let me do this. I've not heard anything from Bonner Boy. I really don't know why Bonner Boy is not trying to be in the picture right now, but he has not said anything. We're still on the lookout. And I'm just really happy that David Doe could let all of the things she said to him slide and he's still willing to help her. I'm so proud of David Doe at this point because the truth is, a lot of people will not help Cynthia if she had said those things to them. And he's already telling her that, look, he's already recording his own verse to a song that they do together she should reach out to him you know she should send her account and all of that stuff and people are saying oh they've is making a lot of mouth why is he making noise about it why is he doing this look let me just tell people the truth whether he makes noise about it or not the point is he is willing to help her so let's deal with it i think what we should be more concerned about now is him actually helping her to get back on her feet and not how he's going about publicizing it davido has offered to help if he chooses to make noise about it if he chooses to post it on the vogue magazine it is nobody's business it is his business it is his money it is his help and the person that is helping now has not complained have you seen cynthia's recent pictures guys i can't even post it that's how bad it is she looks like a shadow of herself and i just pray that whatever it is she's dealing with you know she's able to just overcome it and get back on her feet because again i miss the german juice okay i miss her so much i really love her songs a lot you got a way to keep your social media active uh, set up one and keep it, uh, keep it active i've been touring on you on my life to please help me bring back Cynthia Morgan a movement that will transcend every other activity on social media. We need her to take over the social media while she's preparing to come back. And I'll be here to give you guys step by step updates on her progress. As for the um, for the GoFundMe account, um, you guys should tell me what I can say. Share it from the account. I will be screen grabbing everybody that makes a contribution to the GoFundMe account. I will screen grab your name, your contribution, and post it on page anyways that's all the gist i have for you guys about the cynthia morgan issue i know that a lot of you have been waiting for me to talk about it now i have done that let me know your thoughts in the comment section like this video if you enjoyed watching it and i will see you guys in my next one bye